Hello. Today we will study class six in science. Chapter three. Fiber to fabric. Fiber means we call it Hindi in Hindi resha and fabric. It is fabric means cloth means how we prepare a cloth from a very thin fine strand just like this it means ki how a cloth is made from its raw material very fine raw material and the very fine raw material is called its fiber fiber are different varieties available but before to study about the different varieties of fiber first of all here i will discuss the term what is fiber fiber means it is a very thin thread like it look thread like but not a real a thread thread is made from its fiber from the fiber it look like thread like strand from which a cloth is made is called a fiber it means a fiber it is look like a thread but not a real a thread for example if we take a cotton plant it grows and cotton balls which is a fiber of cotton plant suppose that this is a cotton plant a cotton balls are grow in a comparatively healthy environment and these cotton balls contains cotton these are cotton balls what are cotton balls cotton balls are the fruit of the cotton plant and these are of the lemon size they burst open to produce cotton seed
and it contains white soft cotton fiber these cotton balls contains white soft cotton fibers cotton balls are the fruit of the cotton plant they contains white soft cotton fibers and they burst when they mature and these cotton balls are peaking from the cotton plant and these are ready for the separation of the cotton fibers from the cotton balls so these cotton fibers are very fine thread like structure from which cotton cloths are made but the formation of cotton cloths are undergo in some some different process before it goes to the cotton cloth or fabric first of all we make yarn yarn means thread and then we made fabric this yarn is made by twisting the by twisting the fiber if we take cotton fiber suppose this is two fibers by twisting it in a alternate way they becomes more stronger than the single fiber if we twist these fibers either way they becomes stronger than the its fiber and this twisting after twisting we get yarn or in simple we can say that this is a thread means it is also called spinning so we can say that yarn is made from a fiber by the spinning process and after the preparation of this yarn fabric is made either in a two way process the first one is we can say that weaving and another process is netting netting process it means we can made fabric from the yarn by the following two process weaving and the another process is netting
so let us one by one process in detail but first of all look into what are the different varieties of fabrics nowadays commonly we are or we be used so there are some varieties of fabrics we used in nowadays for example cotton fabric which is obtained from the cotton plant fiber woolen fabric silk fabric and synthetic fabric we also prepare in the industry by the some chemical combination of the substances how fabrics are made i discussed briefly in this labeled arrow diagram fabric is made from the yarn and yarn is made from the given fiber so let us understand more about the different varieties of fibers we can classify the fiber commonly into two categories natural fibers synthetic fibers synthetic or natural fibers are cotton means those fibers which are obtained from the plant as well as from the animals are called natural fibers means naturally obtained fibers are called natural fibers and man made fibers are called synthetic fibers these are also called man made fibers natural fibers may be cotton wool silk 
फ्लैक्स जूट एंड द सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स आर सम ऑफ द सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स आर रेयन नाइलॉन एक्रिलिक पोलिएस्टर एटसेट्रा तो व्हाट इज नेचुरल फाइबर्स व्हाट इज ए नेचुरल फाइबर और व्हाट इज नेचुरल फाइबर्स द फाइबर्स which are obtained from natural sources natural sources means they are obtained from either plant or animal like plants and animals are called natural fibers and these fibers are cotton fiber wool fiber silk flax and jute fibers cotton flax and jute are obtained from the plants wool and silk are obtained from the animals then next definition is synthetic fibers the fibers which are made from chemical substances in industry they are called synthetic fibers synthetic fibers may be rayon which is obtained from the plant cellulose of the plant but in the formation of rayon some chemical substances are used that's why rayon is called a synthetic fiber and another synthetic fibers are nylon acrylic polyester etc we can differentiate between the natural fibers and synthetic fibers by performing some test
लाइक बर्निंग टेस्ट इफ वी बर्न अ नेचुरल फाइबर इट प्रोड्यूस अ स्मेल ऑफ बर्निंग पेपर For example, if we take or if we burn a cotton fabric, it produces a smell of burning paper, and it doesn't melt and form small beads. means natural fiber doesn't melt when we bond them and they produce a paper of or a smell of burning paper in comparison to this if we burn a synthetic fiber they melt readily and they produce a smell of burning a meat or flesh so in this way we can differentiate between a natural fiber and a synthetic fiber so write down differentiate differentiate different differentiate between natural fibers synthetic fibers natural fibers synthetic fibers they give a smell of burning paper but synthetic fiber they give a smell of burning meat or flesh another difference is natural fibers do not melt or form b 
bleeds on burning but synthetic fibers they melt easily or we can say that readily so in this way on performing the burning test we can distinguish between the natural fibers and synthetic fibers simply some of the natural fibers like cotton flax jute which are obtained from the plants let us studies about the their production and what are the environmental conditions required for the growth of these type of plants so my next topic is some plant fibers like cotton flax and jute what are the environmental conditions required for the growing of or healthy growth of this type of plants and what type of soil are required for the healthy growth of this plant these plants also all these three fibers are obtained from the plant so these are natural fibers and their importance in the fabric industries are more and more so their production is also a important concentration for the fulfilling the requirement of their demands and the industries cotton plant is usually grown at places having black soil and warm climate black soil and warm black soil and warm climate
and this type of black soil mostly found in our country in the state of maharashtra and some parts of andhra pradesh madhya pradesh and also in gujarat so crop plant cotton plant farming mostly perform in these states so cotton is mainly grown in the state of Maharashtra Andhra Pradesh Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat the fruit of the cotton plant are of lemon size and after maturing the these cotton plants fruits are called cotton balls and after maturing these cotton balls they burst and open and produce cotton seeds which is covered with white soft cotton fibers cotton is picked up suppose that this is a cotton ball cotton is picked up and they are collected but these cotton balls also contain seeds so there is a need to do a process for the separation of cotton fibers from the cotton seeds and this process is called ginning so what is ginning ginning is a process it is the process in the process of separating cotton fibers from the seeds is called gaining it is traditionally done by the hand using a comb like device suppose that we got a comb like device and move like this seeds are separated and fibers are 
apart from the cotton seeds these cottons which are obtained from the cotton fiber they are used for making cotton fabric another plant is flax plant it is also cultivated in the fields to obtain fibers for making fabrics and stem of the cotton plants are used to obtain the flax fibers what which part is used for making the flax fiber stem of the cotton uh, flax fiber uh, flax plant sorry flax plant is used for making the flax fiber and the cloth made up of stem fibers of the flax is called linen what is linen the cloth made of stem fibers of flax is called linen and this is used for making bed sheets curtain and many more fabrics another plant is jute plant it is also obtained from the stem of a jute plant stem of the jute plant is used for obtaining the jute fiber it is mainly grown in west bengal bihar and assam it requires more and more water and these states have plenty of water west bengal bihar and assam so their cultivation is mainly done in these states and jute crop is mainly cultivated in rainy season and these jute fibers are used to make ropes and jute bags
some another fibers like co uh, coconut fibers are also used for making the rocks and mats coconut fibers are also used to make rocks and mats let us study more about the making of fabrics in briefly already i told from the fiber we prepare yarn and from this yarn we prepare fabric here we perform a process that is called spinning and here we perform two process we may perform two process these are called weaving and another one is knitting and by performing these two steps this one is step 1 and this is step 2 so we can say that by performing these two steps we may prepare a cloth from the given fiber the spinning process is done by using three devices so we can say that yarn can be made from fibers by using three devices hand spindle it is a manual device hand spindle in hand spindle a rotating circular disc is fixed and in this way this is a cotton fiber it rolled up by moving or twisting the rod in either way maybe we retort this in this way commonly this fiber in twisted along the hand spindle and it is rotated with our hand and we can prepare the thread or yarn by using this hand spindle it is a manual device manual device means it is operated by manually by a man or by a person with with the help of the hand and we can get in this way some yarn from the given fiber another devices are is spinning wheel it is also called charkha gandhi ji used this spinning wheel for making the yarn 
and they launch a movement regarding this reusing khadi cloth and boycott the foreign clothes in industry it is done by using some machines so we can made yarn from the fibers by using three this this device hand spindle which is operated manually spinning wheel it is also operated by the manually and this is used by spinning machines it is not manually by using this three de three devices we can made yarn from the fibers after making the fiber yarn from the fiber now we can prepare fabric by using this yarn and it is done by two process means making of fabric from yarn means thread it is done by two process weaving and knitting what is weaving weaving is a process in which yarns are arranged in some manner and they arranged as such that they form 90 degree angle and we also call that yarns are arranged passing over one direction with the other yarn at right angle or perpendicularly we can also say that they perpendicularly cross over to each other and form a fabric this process is called weaving if the yarns are arranged in a way they cross over to each other at right angle to form a fabric this process is called weaving means the process of making a fabric by arranging yarns passing in one direction with other yarn at right angle right angle means 90 degree right angles means 90 degree they cross over to each other at 90 degree means 
to them this process is called weaving means cloth is made if the yarns are arranged as such a way they cross over to each other at right angles this process is called weaving in weaving process yarns cross over to each other at 90 degree clear in weaving process yarn suppose that this is one yarn two yarn third four and this is also a yarn b c and d yarn fourth thread is here and fourth thread is here and they cross over to each other at 90 degree or at right angles and they form a fabric so this fabric is made by crossing over the yarn to each other at 90 degree this process is called weaving another process is netting used for making the cloth or fabric what is netting process to understand more clearly the netting process remember a lady made a sweater with the help of using kneading knitting needles and woolen yarn they interlock interlock worn yarn over the another yarn while the lady making a sweater she also made a fabric or cloth woolen cloth and by which press process they mode them she made a woolen cloth this process is called netting so we can say that in netting process one yarn is interlocked with the other yarn with the help of netting needles so the process of making a fabric by interlocking interlocking loops of what is loop a closed path is called loop in making a sweater one yarn is interlocked with the another yarn and they also a form a closed path so here this is used interlocking loops interlocking loops of single yarn with netting needles or it may be done by using machines 
it is called netting okay thank you